Hey guys, the day is finally here. Uh, <clears throat> finally finished uh, my new strap. Um, I didn't really do any work on it because there was just a lot of complications with it, but it still came out pretty fucking awesome. Uh, so, just gonna do like a quick talk about it. Um, I had my luthier pretty much do all the work with it uh, because when I bought the body, it had a fender style uh, two point trim on it. And I knew I wanted all black hardware and I couldn't find black, uh, a black uh, bridge. And especially for like a two point trim, other than this hip shot one, which is really nice. I do like it a lot. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Goto has one or not. I know they do have a six point trim, which I used to build uh, an, that Ocean Turquoise Strat, maybe like earlier this year or, or I don't know, a few months back. Anyway, um, but everything just wasn't lining up just perfectly. So he had to uh, fill the holes originally and take the, uh, the original studs out and like I said fill those and it, it ended up just being a pain in the ass I guess so it was it was a little bit out of my skill range that's for sure um, but anyway it is finally working great um, this is not an EMG I know a lot of people have asked me already and it's not even an active pickup it is a bare knuckle crawler pickup and Basically, the best way to describe it is it's a mix between like a modern sound and a vintage sound. And it actually reminds me a good amount of my Stockholm P90, which I love. And that's what's really making me like this pickup a lot, which you will hear. I'll, I'll show it off soon. Um, but it's, it's, really, it's really like a fat sound, so it's really nice for this uh, Strat body. Um, this is uh, Swamp Ash, by the way, um, and it just, it's just a really full sound, which is really nice. Um, this is a, an actual Fender neck. It's not a Warmoth or anything like that, which I have used before. Uh, I got locking tuners on here. These are Clusen locking tuners, um, and they're, they're like a vintage style. Uh, some, some Fender necks don't use like a like the vintage style where it has the uh, the screws in between each one holding it in some of them just uh, have two little pins in it to kind of hold them in um, but these ones I got these ones because uh, I used them on my yellow baritone strat that I recently sold and they worked really good so I figured I'd use them again for this and so far they're doing really good uh, I had the nut change. The nut was originally white, so that's a, a black Graf Tech nut. Um, the string tree, I I just took a, a regular stainless steel string tree and just kind of spray painted it black, and it's already kind of chipping a little bit, but whatever. Um, other than that, really not too much else to say. I I have a coil tap on the volume pot which is really cool so it can go from like a full humbucker sound to like a stratty type sound because so I wanted something that is a little more uh, a little more diverse I guess or just gives me more options a little more versatility and this isn't locked down either the bridge um, I do have it so I can use it if I want to because I like I like my guitars to have uh, some variety to them and I do have a whammy bar but I'm not going to really keep it in there right now I mean, I, I can use it if I want to. But I can still, uh, I can still use it kind of like how Nick Johnson uses it, or plenty of other people. It's still very touch sensitive and uh, it works pretty great. And uh, it's it's been holding this tune really well so far. I mean, the strings are still really new on it. Um, I'm using 10 to 52s, which is pretty much what I use on everything. And so far, like I said, it's it's really really nice, and I really like the way it came out. Uh, the pickguard I didn't mention. Um, it's Warmoth made pickguard. It is. I used a thin. Or I got the thin style pickguard. I don't really know what that gives 
for uh, pros and cons, I guess. Um, but I mean, it looks nice. I wanted the matte black. I didn't want a glossy black uh, pick guard, so that, that came out really nice. Um, it doesn't have a bevel to it. It's just like a straight edge to it, which I don't love, but whatever. I'm not really going to complain. Um, so other than that, I mean, it's got a really, really... Uh, just like neutral sort of tone to it so I feel like this guitar would really benefit from or this this guitar would really lend itself well to like a lot of different styles um, I, it could really do like a lot of metal it could do a lot of classic rock type stuff a lot of in-between stuff so um, I don't plan on selling this one uh, just throwing that out there and uh, I definitely think you'll be seeing a lot of it so I uh, hope you like it and let me know what you think Okay, so I'm actually going to play a bit. I'm just on a clean channel right now. Uh, that's on full humbucker. Now I'm going to coil tap it. next setting right now which is uh, it's another clean setting but it's got a little bit more gain to it and also I'm not using any pedals right now other than my noise suppressor I don't have my uh, my tube screamer on right now <laughs> is uh, coil tapped. That's a really nice sound. I like that a lot. Uh, this is my kind of like vintage -y style. It's just Another step up from the last one. Pretty much just my full-on heavy tone. Um, pretty much the same thing I use for most of my videos, stuff like that. Volume pot's really nice too because it's, uh, 
I mean, yeah, it is like a coil tappable one. I think it's made by Alpha. Um, but it's really good when like rolling off the volume too. So like this is like my full sound. <laughs> itself well to not always having to run to like a, a channel switcher or anything like that to go to like a like a lower gain setting or I mean even if you didn't want to do just rolling it down you just coil tap it real quick because that'll cut down the volume a little bit and I mean it'll definitely uh, get rid of some of that like heavier sound, it's definitely more of a stratty sound. But it's still really full too. Uh, just for the hell of it, uh, here's my Tube Screamer on. I'm gonna roll back the mids a little bit. Whether it's a tube screamer or something else, I mean, there's a lot of really good uses for it. So um, that's pretty much all I really got to say. Um, like I said, you'll definitely be seeing more of this guitar in different videos, stuff like that. So let I me mean, know what you think. It's really, really an awesome guitar. And thanks for um, I had done a little poll or whatever on on my Facebook page about what fretboard I should go with and I knew I wanted to go with Fender although I, I thought an ebony neck would have or an ebony fretboard would have, would have been great that I would have had the custom order so I mean I was asking between a maple fretboard and a rosewood and I was really really close to doing a rosewood but I think this looks really nice and it's just a really nice neck overall so thank you it was actually a pretty close, uh, pretty close race too. I mean, I don't remember exactly how many votes each one had, but I mean, there was definitely a good amount of votes for Rosewood, but Maple definitely won. So, definitely went with that. I uh, with that result, and it's pretty sweet. So, anyway, done rambling. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. <laughs>